Good morning guys, Corey here from Sky's Limit Car Care and today we're going to talk about applicators. So there's a million of them out there. We've seen a lot of people, well I wouldn't say a lot, but occasionally we see people using the wrong applicator or an applicator that we think that's really odd that they would use that for this particular task. Or we just find that there's some applicators that we carry that people don't even seem to realize exist that are really phenomenal applicators and we feel like that might be able to help some of you guys out and make your jobs easier. And that's uh, what applicators are all about is making your job easier. So um, I would say you can basically divide applicators into two categories. Um, you've got foam applicators and then you've got microfiber applicators. And some of it comes down to preference for sure. Um, and some of it comes down to what type of product that you're using. So some people might prefer foam on, for pretty much everything that they do. Like they, maybe they like to use that on an interior. Whereas personally, I would rather use something like a microfiber applicator if I'm, if I'm working on an interior with most products, you know, most, pro most protective products. Uh, but uh, you know, a lot of times it comes down to the viscosity of the product you're applying and um, how much of it you want to leave on the surface and how much of it you want to be able to spread around. So we'll start here with the Microfire Madness, the Waxing Moon Deluxe. Uh, Microfire Madness has two different types of applicators. They've got uh, the Waxing Moon, which is not out here. It just looks like that. And then they have the Waxing Moon Deluxe, which also has the pocket right here. So that reason for that pocket is so you can stick your hand in here. Both of their, both of their applicators um, come in a pack of two. So you, uh, you have if the Waxing Moon Deluxe, it comes with two Waxing Moon Deluxe applicators. The Waxing Moon comes with two that do not have the pocket. So the cool thing about this is it's really easy to control. You put your hand in the applicator, you spray the product on there, or apply the product to there, um, or to the surface, and then you can just work the surface. You can get up into tight areas, you can do whatever, and you don't have to try to hold on to it like you would with a product like this. So the other really cool thing about the Waxing Moon is, as you can see, I had the pocket on this side. If that side gets dirty, you can flip the pocket over to the other side and there's still no seam on the application side so it's reversible and you can use both sides of it before you wash it. So that's really cool. The other great thing about the Microfiber Madness applicator is obviously they're the foremost authority when it comes to microfiber tools and so you're going to get a really high quality microfiber on here. You cannot use a, a higher quality microfiber than a Microfiber Madness product. So love their applicators for that. The size is about 5 inch diameter um, which is perfect for pretty much anybody's hand. I don't have the largest hands in the world. Um, it fits my hand great. Uh, if you had really massive hands, then you could always put three fingers in there and you'd still have plenty of control. Uh, so that covers that. Um, the next applicator we're going to go over is the CarPro microfiber applicator. This one's probably a little lesser known than CarPro's foam applicator, which comes with all the C-Quartz kits. But this one CarPro offers in a five pack. And the, some of the really cool things about this applicator, again, um, you've got microfiber and you've got a lot of control with it. Um, it's a little, uh, it's about the same um, thickness as the Microfiber Madness, maybe not quite as, as wide. It's about maybe a one inch or half an inch uh, difference, so about four and a half inches in that direction. But it's longer, so it's about an inch longer. Overall, about the same surface area. Uh, this product, a lot of guys love for applying C-Quartz with. They can control it, and it's a little bit more flexible than this one. So they're able to get into areas that they want to get into. Um, this one's going to lay down polymer sealants and waxes more evenly, and even dressings and stuff, because of, uh, because of the, uh, the durometer of, of the foam that they have inside of there. So that goes over that. And then our final microfiber applicator that we're going to go over today, that's just the standard. I think everybody's probably used one of these. These come in a variety of different, different shapes and sizes. Some of them are, uh, well, I guess they're all square or rectangular, but the sizes, they vary in the thickness here or the length there, the width there. These are about, uh, about three and a half by five and a half. And these, the biggest benefit to a, an applicator like this is the cost. So if you're using a microfiber applicator for a ceramic coating application, this one works great. It's terrific. This one, um, it'll work as well, but it's a little bit more, uh, these are a little bit more high priced than this. So as long as you find a microfiber like this that you can trust, that's, that's not going to swirl the paint, that's a good quality microfiber, then this is going to be a little bit more... Uh, uh, economical for you because the ceramic coating, once you get ceramic coating in your applicator, 
then it can dry up and you don't want to reuse these applicators once they have ceramic coating in them and it's dry. So these are, you know, instead of spending a few bucks per applicator, you're spending, you know, a dollar or, or whatever these are. These are you know, much more economical than that. These, they come in one pack, five pack, ten pack, depending on, you know, the quantity you buy, you're going to save a lot of money on those. Now we're going to move into foam applicators. Um, first, we're going to talk about the CarPro foam applicators. These were all designed around their C quartz ceramic coating system. Um, first, this was the original. We had this for years. That's the, um, the CarPro C quartz applicator, and that's the standard applicator. It has slits in the side of it that you can see right there, and that slit was a, a design feature that was added a few years ago, uh, probably five years after the, in the initial launch of the applicator. And that is so that you can wrap the suede. These come with a with four inch microfiber or uh, like microfiber suede cloths, and you wrap that over here. And you can just hold the suede against the edge of the block when you're applying the C quartz. When it gets dirty, you can flip it over or switch it out for another suede. Or if you're going to have it on there for a little while and you don't like holding it against the block, you can use those slits right there. You just put the suede against that and take a credit card and press the suede into that so that the the slits of the block actually hold the suede there. And then if you you know, let go of one side of it, the suede doesn't fall off. So that's basically the premise behind that. Uh, soon after they added the slits in the uh, foam applicator block for the C-Quartz, um, I think it was probably around the time that we released the Nautique um, Marine ceramic coating from CarPro, they came out with this block, which is obviously much larger than the, uh, than the original. This is for large areas, like if you're working on a boat, an RV, you know, a large massive area and you want to really lay down some coating fast, then that's what the uh, large applicator is for. That's the, the Secor's large applicator. And then at the same time that came out, they also came out with these, which are, um, you're not going to use something, most people are not going to use something like this nearly as often as this and even as often as this if they work on large vehicles. But this comes in really handy for getting into really tight areas. Um, I would argue that if it was up to me personally, I would just use this to get into tight areas, but um, you know, there again, it comes down to preference. So these are little finger applicators. It comes with a, a whole stack of them like this, and you can just rip one of these off and use it. So those are priced nicely for little places like that. Uh, the final applicator that we have sitting out here right now from CarPro is their tire applicator. That I think pretty much everybody's seen an applicator similar to that. Um, with the CarPro one, you'll notice there's a low side and a high side. That works well depending on the type of tire you're working on. Uh, if it's a high profile or you know if it's a low profile tire, um, how big the curvature of the tire is, all those things, you can decide which way you're going to point it to get around uh, edges easier. Uh, and the idea behind this is obviously you have a nice stiff foam handle. You apply the tire product to that. That fits the curvature of the of the wheel, and then you just go around the around the tire like that to apply your your tire product. Um, when it comes to uh, tire products, I would say foam is generally the, the, best, uh, the best product for that because you're able to kind of get into, you've got those letters uh, along the tire and different things like that, and you're really able to get in there with all the product. So I'm going to skip over to here because this is another tire applicator. That one was from CarPro. This one's from Lake Country. Um, when it comes to cost, this one's going to cost a lot less, but this one's a little bit more durable and going to last longer as long as you are cleaning your tires the way you should be and not getting a lot of gunk in your tire applicator when you go to apply your protection. So this one, you, you've got a nice handle like that. You can hold on to it. The downside is you can't get into the curvature quite as easily as that. So again, that's going to come down to preference and economy. Um, so uh, from there, I'm going to go ahead and skip to this applicator since we were just talking about Lake Country. Obviously, that's either a great knockoff or, or, a, uh, or it's from the same company. And in this case, since we don't like to do knockoffs, it is absolutely from the same company. These are both Lake Country applicators. That's, again, the tire, the tire applicator. And this is the wax applicator. So this foam is going to be a little bit, a little bit softer than this one on the outside. It's the exact same foam on the, on the handle. And you've got those corners so you can get into different areas. You can turn it around to, to, to have access to different areas when you're applying. This one you're generally going to use for applying a polymer sealant or a wax, something like that. Um, you could use it on interior products as well, but uh, for me, I would use it more for something like a polymer sealant. From there, we're going to move over to the Shoal Concepts applicator. This is a similar concept to this one, but you have a much larger area 
uh, larger handle. This one you can see my hand is closed in around it. This one my hand is a little bit more spread out and uh, this is all one type of foam all the way throughout rather than two different types of foam adhered together with an adhesive. So this one is quite a bit more stiff than this one is. This one's really great for if you, for those of you that are going to hand polish your vehicle. This one you can put some, um, an abrasive polish on, some Shoal Concepts S30, some uh, Car Pro Reflex, something like that, and you can you know, w really work on the paint, or even a paint cleaner, like Obsessed uh, Paint Prep Paint Cleaner. That you can use to prep the surface by hand if you don't have a machine or aren't interested in getting a machine and just working on your own car. So that is the Shoal Concepts applicator. And then last but not least, we have the tried and true, um, just a regular round foam applicator, it's about three inch diameter. And these are gonna be the most cost effective applicator on the market. Um, these ones, uh, they come in all different types. Um, you'll see them in different colors, different sizes slightly. Um, there are some foams out there that are not as good as others, but uh, in general, when you see a yellow round foam applicator like this, as long as you're getting it from a reliable source, um, they're pretty similar. Um, and these ones, you get a three pack for you know a couple bucks. So you can get them in one packs, three packs, six packs, whatever. And those are just super economical if you don't like cleaning your applicators. Uh, obviously, for those that uh, have a lot more, place a lot more value on their time and their comfort, they're gonna go with one of these two before they're gonna go with this one because this one you have to either hold it like that. There's a little bit more tweaking your hand to really be able to use it to hold on to it when you're doing that um, on, on a corner and you really need to grab it on a vertical area. Other than that, I think that covers pretty much all the uh, applicators. Uh, we do wanna talk about the foam swabs as well because we figured that that would qualify as an applicator in uh, a lot of different small little areas for people that are really obsessive about their paint, which that's what we do, is, um, is these uh, foam swabs that we carry. Um, for really tiny little areas, these come in handy. These we call the spiral, the spiral pick swab. They're phenomenal for getting into areas where nothing else will reach. Like this, it's got a tiny tip there that'll get into areas that a, a, a cotton swab couldn't even dream of getting into. So uh, around badges, if you're not taking the badges off, then you can get all the way into the corners of the badges and everything with that. Um, my, one of my favorite things is to just have a little thimble of, uh, or a cap of alcohol, and you just dip it in there, and then you can pull stuff out of there, or some Tarex, some type of solvent. Um, you can just pull a lot of stuff out of there fast with something like that. And the next one we're gonna go over, this is called the Ultra Soft Foam Swab. This one, we call it Ultra Soft because it's the softest of all the foam swabs there. This one is not as, uh, this one's not, not going to be as popular. You're not gonna need this one as often as you're gonna need something like the Spiral Pick or the Large. Those two are the most handy in my mind. Of course, different people have different applications and so they might find more uses for this one. But generally, those two are my, my biggest, uh, my, my two favorites. Uh, but this one works really good if you're dealing with some really soft areas or some really gentle areas that you wanna to try to pull some, some wax back out of. If you got some wax or sealant up in those badge areas, this will work really well to, to pull that out from between the letters. So the rest of these basically have the same idea. You've got the, uh, the larger, but or the, the wider but short swab. This one is a little bit thicker. These ones are pretty flat. This one's a bit thicker in this direction. So uh, that, that's basically just the whole idea behind these different sizes is based on you know, what application you have and what you might run into depending on the type of car you're working on and what kind of badges and stuff you're working around or what kind of challenges you have on the interior of the vehicle. Um, my favorite is obviously the large uh, foam swab. This one, you can cover a lot of ground pretty fast. This works really well for if you're like working on like a, like a, a grill, the a front grill, and you have a bunch of those little areas that you're trying to get a sealant into or um, and you're not spraying anything in there or if you're trying to get some, it hasn't been cleaned well in a long time and you can't get a brush in there, then this one works really well to get in there and clean that out. It's somewhat time consuming, but if you want to uh, get things perfect, then sometimes that's what it requires. Uh, that's pretty much it. We've got the medium, the large, and then the paddle. We call that the paddle swab because of the shape. That's pretty much it. That goes over all of our applicators um, and our foam swabs. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to write those below. We'd love to answer those. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. And uh, a lot of these links to these products will be below. If you need anything beyond that, never hesitate to reach out to us. We really appreciate you watching the video, and we look forward to talking to you next time. Have a great day.